There is a psychological aspect of conversation. When I'm talking to you, it's more than just words, it's more than just text. It's also about expressions, you know. The usefulness of robots that look expressive are in the areas of service. For example, using robots to help kids with autism, uh, having robots um, uh, in receptionist roles, basically in the front desk of banks or hotels, uh, anything that requires um, a machine to look and behave like a human being. Uh, well, just like any other forms of AI, uh, she can become smarter in certain ways. And as we've seen already, there are some forms of AI, whether it's playing chess with the computer, that's a form of AI. You can argue that um, a computer can play chess smarter than most people now. But that's only one specific vertical application. And we would expect that Sophia would have many such vertical applications. But the challenge is to be able to put all those vertical, all those vertical applications together to call us a person. Right? Yes, that would be the challenge. Or are we dancers?